We uh, at Horizon have uh, over $600 million under management and three uh, private equity funds. The first fund was $150 million uh, that was um, um, given to us by the U.S. government to invest in Ukraine, Moldova, and Belarus, and we invested that over a period from 1996 through 2005. 2005, we raised our, our first private fund, uh, which was $132 million. We invested that over the next three years. We were lucky enough to close uh, a third fund of $370 million in uh, the fall of 2008, right before the global financial crisis hit. And uh, last year, we invested over $130 million of that, more than uh, the previous fund in total. So I think that speaks about the optimism we have not about necessarily the optimism in the pace of reforms or the uh, uh, improvement in the business climate, but in the opportunities that are here in the country. Uh, what's our rationale for doing that? And I'm going to talk more from an uh, investor's perspective. Um, having been here since uh, 1996, uh, one of the biggest regrets I had was that we didn't invest more after the 1998 uh, uh, financial crisis. Uh, the reason I say that is because uh, it became very clear several years afterwards that uh, uh, it was a perfect time to invest because you can clearly differentiate uh, a good company from a bad company when the times are tough, when access to, to capital is, is uh, very difficult. And we're in a sem similar period right now. I can say that uh, post the Orange Revolution, it was uh, everyone uh, got investments, everyone got money. Uh, and every company did well, and uh, everyone felt they were investing in a winner. Uh, just taking the banking sector, dozens of banks were bought, invested in, at multiples of two to seven times net asset value. Um, many of those uh, investments look very poor uh, in the rearview mirror now. Uh, today is a very unique opportunity uh, where you can clearly see what companies are doing well, what companies are doing poorly makes it much easier to make good investment uh, uh, decisions. Uh, and the fact that there is uh, still difficulties in the banking sector, a lack of uh, lending, uh, that many investors fled the country when Ukraine uh, took such a deep dive in 2009, uh, means that uh, when you do provide capital to a company, it can clearly outpace its competition, it can uh, really differentiate itself, and it can uh, really reward the investor that's brave enough to put that money in. So I kind of encourage all of you to, uh, yes, you, do, you should be taking into account all the work, uh, uh, the pace of reforms, uh, but you shouldn't expect, uh, you know, uh, a revolution, uh, and I'm not referring to the Orange Revolution, but a revolution in terms of uh, the Ukrainian business environment. It, it will be more of an evolutionary change, and it has been evolving uh, for a long period of time, uh, and it uh, has been improving every year. It's a sort of a three steps forward, one step back. Uh, but as investors, I highly recommend you look at this country uh, in, in terms of its uh, vast potential. Uh, but also look at the, the current environment and uh, assess uh, how much your capital might mean to a particular company and uh, the effects it might have. And, you know, after all, we're all in the business of uh, making investments that provide us returns. Uh, it's actually a, a very good time to be doing that.